There's no tone there, is there? Mouse that'll piss you off, Cindy. Oh, man. I'm just pinching with my fingernail oh my and she's flinching. Jim is here. Um, Hi, Baron that we got from the auction has some things going on with him. We're not entirely sure what it is. Um, we can't wait until regular vet day to have him looked at. Yeah, we just we can't wait until regular vet day to have him looked at. So Jim is out here to take a peek and figure out what's going on with him. I don't like it, but you can't stop me. There we go. What? You want something to eat? No, oh, come here a second. And you just kind of feel it in passing. <laughs> oh, sure. Oh, no. <laughs> it's a little tender. He's so friendly. Yeah, he's got an old scar there, I think is what that is. It's just is. a scar, not a I think so. chip or nothing? Right here, right? Yeah, that thing kind of sticking like straight out. Yeah. No, oh, that's a scar. Why are you biting your tongue? Oh, oh buddy, poop. Oh. Let's go feel the other side. Oh, I got more feeling. You. Yeah, see, he's got the same thing over there. Oh, he does? Yep. Oh, okay. I guess just because he's left side. It's just a cartilage side. band. It's just a cartilage band. Okay. I guess since his left side seems so weird, we and thought so that way. But then, like, this oh, ear, sorry. like... Yeah. It's just all sloppy and floppy, huh? Yeah. And he'll just, like, like have tremors. I know it's kind of slippery there, isn't it, fella? No, you're pulling back good there. Good. Not so good on this side, though. How are you? How are you, buddy, huh? Slow reacting over there. Yeah, I like that, huh? Just trying to see his cheek muscles are about the same size. If they weren't, what would that mean? Oh, he's got some muscle damage over there, or maybe nerve damage on that side of his face. You can feel all that. Yeah, you know what I'm doing. Everything sure looks sloppy, doesn't it? Yeah. But you got a good feeling. Oh, 
Yeah, you can feel it. Hmm. He just like acts like when he's walking, like you know, if your leg's about to give out or something. Yeah, he's, like he's well, he doesn't have good control. <clears throat> when I was pulling his leg when he was walking, he could pull him all around there. Yeah, we could. Well, let's see if you're running a teeth fever or not. Yeah, and he doesn't ever really like hold his head up. He's always yeah, like you kind of chewed up that back leg a little bit, didn't you? Ooh, <laughs> well, no tone there, is there? Let's see what he does when I put this monitor in. good tone there either. Do you have much feeling back there? <laughs> you won't act like it. No, it doesn't look like it. 99.4. Well, that's good. Well, there's something going on in there. Boy, this thing is just... When you, yeah, when you touch the rectum, there's no tone there. There's no response. You know, like normally you touch your rectum and they pucker right up. Yeah. He doesn't. <clears throat> yeah, and you're leaning way forward, aren't you? You're trying to stand on a pinhead. Hmm. Well, I think there's something going on up in the nervous system to me. He's not running a fever, so busy with the encephalitis. And so what are you thinking, huh? Well, you've got a good response. I don't even know what's going on. Looks like you eat good. Um, so we're coming back thirsty, right? Okay. Let's do the old, give us this treatment thing and see what happens in two days. We'll give them like dexamethasone in case there's spinal cord swelling, which I think there is, or brain swelling, one or the other. <clears throat> and then we'll um, put him on some sulfa, just use good old Uniprep. Put him on that. And then we'll probably give him some banamine too. If there's inflammation in the spinal cord. Yep. If there's, there's something going on in that spinal cord somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> there might be up in the brain, too, is the way those lips are flopping. Really on. Well, I'm going to give him some IV just to get him going. Okay. I'll give him like, oh, like 20 of dexamethasone and probably 10 of banamine. Just put it in the vein. But you can do it orally after that. I just want to get him started out. Yeah. We might even do the banamine twice a day for okay. two days just to see if we can pull a lot of the inflammation out of there. If we can... And he's way better by Thursday. Well, at least we're nowhere on the right, tra right track. Okay. Hello. Hello. Don't move too much, okay? This stuff's kind of thick. I'm giving you a lot. <laughs> I just want to give it this way because it works faster. Okay. Hopefully we'll see some results within a couple of days. Well, you're just weak. Oh, probably about 24, 36 hours. Start seeing a little improvement. I'd say 48. So by Thursday morning, we should be seeing something. That's what I'm hoping that he's not Okay. Yeah, that's yeah, good. Okay. A little rapid, but good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sugar. It's all good stuff. Yeah. Oh, you sure do look healthy. Yeah, he always leaves that leg just. Uh... Yeah, he's got one or the other bone. <laughs> kind of trades off. But... That yarn business. Yeah. I feel like he's caught like up in his teeth or anything. It's kind of weird if he had something back there. He feel like it. He's trying to get more oxygen to his brain. Uh, all these people are always yelling and he's trying to get more oxygen to your brain. Yeah. <clears throat> Polly is on his way out here right now. He's going to be taking care of the littles that came in last week, getting their feet looked at, um, and working on a whole bunch more. We have a free adoption event coming up soon, and we want to make sure everyone's got fresh trimmings and is all good to go.
Yeah, okay. How old is she? Six. Six. Okay. <laughs> There's a fair amount of bruising yet. Not, I mean, overall pretty good. Pretty good, yeah. There's still some bruising from the stretching of the lamina. We can get her out up here and we'll see it a little better. So yeah, there's still, there's some bruising on the edge of that <laughs> lamina from it stretching. Still pretty soft in there. <laughs> kind of just your standard mini, mini founder case. I mean, nothing too bad, but pretty standard. This one's very, very soft yet. <laughs> I hear nothing. <laughs> I hear whinnying and noodles. No, this side is still very, very soft. Okay. I'll get it balanced up and we can. So she's still got. She's got obviously the typical bruising by the lamina. That's a little more stretched instead of just a quarter. I mean, it's about half. And then there's some old bruising pigment from probably the coffin bone and some severe rotation pushing. Um, yeah, x-rays wouldn't hurt, but overall, I mean, this one's young enough, we can probably save her. Yeah, no founder in this one. No green. Um, and just watch her. Because right where all that bruising is wraps right around that lamina, and that kind of worries me. Just, we'll keep a close eye on her. Just peace of mind but nothing yet but I want to keep it that way she's actually got really nice feet for a mini probably some of the nicer feet I've seen in the years they definitely do Yeah, because they were lodged up on each side of the frog, you know, both sides, and then they were war level with the sole. So that'd be my guess. It's not founder. It was just whatever he was walking on. Looks like pea gravel in a playground. And being he sat so low on his heels so long, I left the heel of the shoe. I tapered it in how you're supposed to, but I left it set back a little bit. That way, if he does decide to rock, he can't hyperextend this DDFT tendon and has to be on his heel, but it's still a forward enough in the bulb he can't catch, clip it. I think if we reset him and then we go six more weeks and then Hopefully we've got enough heel built. We can still see there's a bit of a dip in that angle. But I'm hope he's already got enough heel from last time. I'm hoping we can get him to get him up and see how if his feet harden. Hopefully he can go barefoot. We just keep his angles proper. So that'd be nice. Doing good, bud. Reset his fronts, pulled his backs. I think if we keep the shoes on six more weeks. And if we keep his angles up at that proper angle, we can take pull shoes next time as long as we keep them angles in line. His feet are hard enough, we just gotta keep it the angled up because he was so low in the heel where his bulbs were touching. His front left is still a little lower, so I brought that toe back as far as we could, close to the lamina. Pulled the backs, leave backs off because his sole's really hardened up and his angles are good, so I think he'll be good on backs. But fronts, six, eight-ish more weeks. So we had another lovely supporter donate a pizza lunch for everybody at the shelter. Uh, we are having fat boys again, so we just arrived here and we're going to go inside and grab it. I 
I can buy myself romance. I recorded that last time. I have my name in the sand. Pizzas are secured. <laughs> Dig in, guys. I remember there were a couple people that did not like all the veggies. All the boards were cut to I'm going in for a green olive. Where's this pizza or from? That place. That place. So I have had a crazy morning. I was on my way to work and I ran out of gas. Jim and Polly are both coming out today and usually Jim is late, but of course the one day that I'm not on time, Jim is. I just got here and Jim's already out in the aisle checking out Daphne. Polly's gonna be here any minute. He was just out on Tuesday and he got through 19 horses, but there's still quite a few horses that need to get their feet done before our free adoption event. We're short staffed and we've got 11 evals to go through and quite a few more horses that need to get their feet done. So it's gonna be a pretty busy day. He's a little chunky. Don't worry about it. <laughs> she had little pebbles stuck up in there. Yeah. You know, go back to the Go boy. Go boy, honey. Yeah, I bet 12 is pretty cold. He's over 8. We're not 15, so. <laughs> we'll go with 12. I'm going to stick with 12. Like phone? Yeah. All right. Good. good. Deal. She's got to be a good 25. Oh, man. Bad murmur. Bad murmur? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Listen. I have to get three layers off my ears. Yeah, 19 layers later. Oh. Oh, wow. That's pretty bad, isn't it? You can feel it vibrating on her chest. That's a pretty bad one. Wow. You can, just, you can even feel it on her chest. When you just feel it on her chest wall. You right can here. feel it vibrating, yeah. You can just feel the vibrations from it. Yeah, it's not a good thing. She's really got a pretty mess. Yeah, it's just, that valve must be really, it's just fluttering. Well, her color looked good, though. She wasn't blue. Yeah, if you get a lot of heart, you know, blood mixing. She doesn't have any swelling in her feet or legs. A lot of times when, yeah, yeah. You would never think it, honestly. Yeah, but boy. You sure hear it. Yeah, it's mainly on the left side. Oh. This side's not near as bad. So I hear what your lungs sound like. You're not getting fluid build up there, are you? Oh, good. It's amazing. When you have congestive heart failure, you usually get a lot of fluid build up in your lungs, still. Jeez, that's pretty bad. Is this like the process of just like basically her insides just shutting down? That's well, not. Not necessarily. Not the, fluid. Yeah, you'll see fluid build up like along their legs and stuff because okay. their circulation is so poor. Or you'll look in their mouth and you'll see they'll blue. And she was nice and pink when we were yeah, looking at her teeth. Oh, man. Yeah, she said that doesn't bother them, but. Yeah, just a wart. A wart? Yep. Yeah. I don't think it's a skin tumor, but the skin tumor will get bigger. Looks more like a wart. Can you look up at me? I just want to look at your teeth. Oh. Man, I'd put him more like 20. Right around 20? Yeah. Not quite as old as the other gal. Yeah. No, you're not quite as old as she is. Okay. That's good there. Start seeing these white guys, you start seeing tumors in one spot, you start looking around. <laughs> no, nope, nothing going on in your sheath. Okay. Okay, just the one. Alright, everything else seems to be really good on you. Or oh, she'll let you. I think I've got you wrote down as a gelding. You're not a gelding. He's not a gelding? <laughs> no, he's a sheep. Oh, Patches is a mare. Patches is a girl. 
Good thing we looked under the yeah, hood. Good come thing think we looked of it. under the hood, Jim. <laughs> I'm look once more to be sure. Oh no, that's definitely. That's a girl. That is that's a girl. definitely a girl. Oh, nice. okay. She's younger. Oh, she's younger. Yeah. Oh yeah, way younger. Yeah, you still got your. See on the outer one there, she still got her little little hole off the outside edge. She's only around 12. Yeah, she's only around 12. I was gonna say she was younger. So you're 10 years younger than we thought. And your mare not and gelding. Your <laughs> what the heck? Do you know she's only four? She's only four? Yeah, see? She's just a baby. Her four baby. little teeth are just there yet. Oh, well, yeah. You're just That's mama. It's mama. You're just a baby. Yeah, see, two, three, four. Yeah, she's not six. That's not good. Oh, look. I'm just pinching with my fingernail oh, my and she's flinching. Oh, well, no, you're not because you're distracted. <laughs> you're easily distracted, huh? Yeah, as soon as I pinch it, she. Not bad. She wanted to see too. But it's just a fingernail. <laughs> For four years old, wow. You already got some, probably got rotation there, I'm pretty sure of that. Because she, she hurt, I just do it with my fingernail and she didn't like it. You can see a little pressure plate there on the bottom. Okay. Hi there. Oh yeah. <laughs> yep. Just checking all no of it doubt. now. No, no doubt. Not so bad in this one. See, she's got a little bit better hoof structure here too. Holly said yesterday that the other hoof was softer than that one. Yeah, that one's the one I was pressing on. It hurt. Yeah. This one's nice. Doesn't look bad. There's no heat or pulse in any of the feet. Uh, I wonder if you're just a little thin sole there. Main thing. I think you're just a little bit skinny in your hoof there, because that's in front of the, front of the, uh, where the coronary band comes, or the mm -hmm. coronary band, the coffin bone comes mm -hmm. down, yeah. and it's used, and this is right up on the white line, mm -hmm. so I think mm -hmm. she's just really thin up there. Whoa. Oh, John. Whoa. Got some white line separation there. Let's see how separated that is. How wide? That's almost as wide as my hoof knife tip. <laughs> Not supposed to be quite that wide. Okay, I don't want to make that any more sore than it is. Nope, I don't. See this? Then that's what's bugging me. See that little slit? Oh, no. And that's what's been. I'm going to keep looking at that. And she doesn't like it. But it faded away. <laughs> see, it's gone. Okay. Do you feel better, Jim? Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to make sure I didn't miss an abscess. Okay. <laughs> I'm sitting there going, oh, it's Get nothing. It's just a little nice. Big... See, this foot isn't near as bad. But you got white line separation there. So you do have it for a young horse. You sure starting out rough. I mean, if we look at you. Hmm? Well, you broke your tooth. So it's just worn at a weird angle. Oh, wow. Yep. Yeah, I have no trouble believing nine. You're less than ten. Yeah. Actually, she's even a little, a little younger than that, like seven or eight. Good deal. What do you mean it's a gelding? How could she have it? Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> We've told that stuff once today. I can't pull it off twice. Huh? No, she looks good. Yeah. Look at the dish in his yeah, head. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> oh, wow. my goodness. I can't, can I see it at an angle? don't have hydrocephalus, do you? <laughs> that can be a problem in minis, but by now it would have showed up way before a long time ago, before now. Which is actually 12. <clears throat> yeah. What the heck? you got big teeth. Well, that one's kind of a gnarly looking thing, isn't oh. it? Where are you going, buddy? Oh, my. Oh, well, it looks That's better, but still, nah. That one's kind of... Yeah, he's got pretty good size teeth for a mini. Yeah, <laughs> for a mini mini. Yeah, 12 is pretty darn close. Okay. Even 10. He was just coming in the door in. Okay. okay. The showing. Nope, you're good. You're good. 
Your lips are still floppy. You're still floppy on your lips. Oh, I don't have a treat. I'm sorry. Yeah, you're still hanging down. Hmm. No, he wasn't running a fever the other day. He was bad on this too, wasn't he? <laughs> he says, I ain't so bad today. Man, I got that leg planted. <laughs> you ain't pulling me around. <laughs> Look at that. Way better than the other day. That's good. Oh, yeah, that's right. No, he's pulling back on it. Yeah. yeah. He's still pretty floppy, but but he's you can feel it. He's pulling. Yeah. Oh, well, it's trembling right now. <laughs> that's because he's twitching his tail. Oh, yeah, see, he feels that today. So well, that's quite a bit of improvement already, because the other day, he didn't care. When right. I pushed on this, he didn't notice it. And he's oh. got a little tension in his tail, so evidently your treatments are working. Okay. So, so I did not go What's that? Keep yeah, we'll going. keep it going. Well, we can probably, well, the steroids we've done for, what, two days already? Yeah, Tuesday and Wednesday, yeah. Today, well, today's yeah. only Thursday. Wow. Well. <laughs> Time flies and you're having fun. All right. Oh, he's... Right, and he, yeah, he cares today, you know, and he's chewing around there, and yeah, you're still kind of floppy, but not bad for two days. I listened to this the other day, and it was okay, so hope it hasn't changed, guy. Nope, sounds good there. Yeah. We were shaking on this shoulder, I think it was the other day, too. Oh, now you're curious, even. Yeah, he is. Wow. You could give a dang the other day. He could yeah. care less what we're doing. Yeah, we've got you rocking and rolling in there. Well, good. No, You've got a lot of positive signs here. Oh, we're going to keep going with this alpha. Um, <laughs> let's go one more day with the tetra... With, um, Dexamethasone. The band mean we cut that back to once a day. Maybe do that for another two days too. That'd be five days total. But the dexamethasone, I think three days at twenty is pretty pretty good level. So so. Well, if it's maybe. helping you, I hate to pull out too quick. I'm still you got that thing on both sides, so that must be just the way you're built. <laughs> yes, cart or cartilage there. Your nose cartilage swings out. He's got it on both sides. <laughs> oh, we felt that the other day. And he feels this one a little bit more, too. He was, he felt it, but he was just kind of, kind of sloppy, weren't you? Yeah, I don't think I've ever actually seen him, like, close his lips. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if he can. I was kind of watching, but he was, he's swallowing. How hard is it for you to drink? <laughs> if they can't close their lips, sometimes it's hard for them to he sip. Went over there after I gave him so he's all wet. He went over right away to get a drink. Yeah, he's all wet inside his mouth, so he's getting fluids. Mm -hmm. Well, good guy. I think you're coming. You just got to keep you rolling down the road. Speak for those teeth. Big pretty guy like you. Mm -hmm. He's supposed to be four. <laughs> well, that's right. Now, I thought we figured he's. Still got your stars there. I think you're a little older than four, though. Yeah, I think it's pretty close, so you're four or five, so you can't, so can't be off on that. What do you think it is or cause it? An injury? Uh, I, yeah, it could be. He wasn't running a fever, he but. Was this up in his back. That looks they, like he was scraped or something. Yeah. Did he maybe flip over backwards? And could have. Could have banged his head or something. But, um,. I just, oh, look, man, he cares, yeah, though. Yeah. <laughs> but, and, um, but, you know, I just hate to take a chance and not give them the sulfa, too, because they do get some encephalitis as their bacterial, or bacterial meningitis, and they'll have issues with their whole body, with their legs. And I don't know if I'll take that chance. I don't know which one of these drugs is working, but I don't care. <laughs> They're working somewhere, somebody's in there. But he's not as floppy even in the fourth day. Yeah. And he's way more attentive. The other day, man, he could have gave a rip. <laughs> we were up around here, and he could have cared so less. <laughs>
They're all volunteering. Nice work. Well, good, feller. I, I think we got you going. Probably pretty close. Still got his star over there, see? Okay. And the last tooth out there, so. Kind of right. It's pretty close. Okay. You can try to trace the brand. Oh, that's true. He's got his brand on his neck there. Okay, buddy. And he was just sold um, in the halter. No <clears throat> specific reason why. Just not a good racehorse. I guess an arthritis <laughs> or something. <laughs> you weren't fast enough. <laughs> He says I can bend it. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Look at that. It doesn't hurt at all. There's no swelling or anything there. It just looks a little bigger, but it doesn't seem to hurt. Oh, I think you're just figuring I want you to pick your feet up. I don't. <laughs> nope. no, this flexor tendons are good. Or his suspensory ligaments, I mean. Okay. No, I don't know why you're retired, man. You're just playing slow. <laughs> Not everybody can be fast, can they? See, look at that. You don't care. Well, got one left. Might as well check that one. Oh, look at He doesn't care. Okay. We don't have a reason. <laughs> Must be just slow, huh? Nothing wrong with being slow. You don't have to be fast all the time, do you? You think 20? Yeah. Well, Get awfully pushy for Amish horses. <laughs> I'm just scared of them. Oh. So that was the both of them were Amish horses? Oh, this is the one that has that breathing. This that is one with the breathing. Said something was rubbing on the back of her hocks. It was both hocks. <laughs> it's you guys. No, you can't go with them. <laughs> you can't go with them. Well, they sound okay today. Said she's loud breathing, huh? I wonder if it's up here in her sinus passages. Her heart and lungs sound good. Thing up there either. Oh, it's this side. See, when you cover the nostril, you can hear it on this side. You can't hear it over there. See, it's over here. It's on this side. I don't know. Must be up here in the sinuses because her lung, heart, lungs—they all sound great. Her windpipe, trachea, sounds good up in her larynx. She's not a roarer, so it must be. Up in this sinus cavity, I guess. <clears throat> well, we'll see if anything shows up on it. Doesn't look like she's got any nasal discharge or anything. It gets bigger, it'll get louder. <laughs> Forget you. Well, you look pretty good otherwise. Everything else seems to be well, good. Oh, I haven't even looked at them yet. <laughs> I see on the caps of her hocks on both sides. Yeah. Looks like they had something that was either rubbing on them or, yeah, or she hit them on something. Up, yeah. Now let's see what you got to say, huh? Not bad, is it? She's pretty good. Pretty good. You don't feel any swelling? No. Nope. They're bigger. Yeah. But it's not soft swelling. It's all hard stuff. That's pulling right off there. Huh. Yeah, it's all scabbed up and hard. And <laughs> huh. Same thing over here, huh? Yep. It's just all scabby there. Yeah, it's just thick through there. It's old scar tissue, I think. 
hard to pick up her suspensory ligament on this side because it's so thick through there. You can't even palpate it. You did something there. Or leg there. It's old, but. I don't think there's really much we can do for that. I think it's just an old injury. And okay. Yeah, it's a little puffy there. And there's a scab here. So something happened down there. There's something in the lower leg though too, because there's, like I said, there's a little fluid sawing down there. Um, just for the heck of it, why don't you review it for like a week? See if it, yeah, see if it takes the swelling down. They're more like highs. See, they're not not hard. Are you allergic to something? Yeah, it looks more like highs. Huh. Yeah. I don't remember having those. No, I don't either. Use some Benadryl, I guess. <laughs> if you're pregnant, we can't give you steroids. Otherwise, you can just give her dexamethasone. Feels good. You think it, huh? Good. Yeah, feels good, huh? Well, you're not that old, though, huh? Twelve? Yeah, I was gonna say. You looks maybe you'd be a little younger than that. No, okay. One more look. Nah, you don't want to look anymore, huh? You're getting mad at me. Yeah, that'd be right pretty darn close. About 12? Yep. Boy, that's quite a pastern you got there. Yep. <laughs> I can feel the edge of that one. Look at that. <laughs> His finger just slides right over it. That's kind of classic ring bone, isn't it? Well, let's see how your joint flexes. And dropped on your pasterns too, aren't you? Come on. Come on. Can you pick it up for me? That's really like when it feels good though. Can you pick it up? Oh, girl. Ah. Oh, the joint's pretty flexible though. Look at that. Boy, you sure are down on your pasterns. Wow, she's got a right side murmur. Just on the right side? Yeah. The left side sounded really good, so I was kind of surprised. You don't get right side murmurs too often. Yeah. Is it big or little? Uh, it's a pretty good sized murmur. Yeah, for a young horse. <laughs> it's on the right side, though. I kept thinking, oh, it's just her breathing. It's not, it's not a murmur, but it wasn't. It was a murmur. No, oh, she's got a scar there on that one, doesn't she? Pretty good scar there. Oh, jeez. Oh, man. This is really beat up through here. She must have. Yeah, beat up, but uh, suspensory ligament feels all right. Well, it's an old injury. I don't know if we're going to change much in there anymore now. Whatever happened, happened quite a while ago. It's just really thick down through here, but the suspensory ligament's fine. be okay. So it's more skin damage, I'm hoping, anyway, because the tendons seem to be strong. Okay, good deal. Listen to her murmur one more time, just to be sure. <laughs> yep, <Yeah. laughs> it's consistent. I'll be darn. Well, that darn bladder. Yeah, it's like trying to reach over a basketball to feel something. <laughs> I don't think she, my instinct says she isn't because I haven't felt a full yet at all. I don't think so, no. No. All right, bud, just relax.
Mm. You're okay. Yeah, I know. Tell you what. Yeah, yes, you poor thing. You're okay. Just relax. You can see all this depth. That's about how much shorter he's going to be. You're okay, bud. Just lean on me. Well, the, oh, bud, the sole growth is in three different layers, completely shedding layers, so theoretically that's three years. I'm just really confused on why they, so they hot shoot the backs, but cold shoot, you know, they hot shot the backs and cold shot the fronts. Because they got the sear burn marks, you know, the fitting marks on the backs. And the hoof walls are where the old nail holes are, they're almost like soldered together, cauterized. You can tell like the smoke and the pigment of the hoof color. And then in the fronts, it's just, you know, shape the shoe and throw it on, which is, I've done it myself, but there's there's a reason behind it, so I'd like to know the reason for this horse. What was the reason you've done it before, or one of the reasons? They throw, they'll throw, so like the ones I would do was, we would always cold shoe sliders on the back of like raining cutting horses. That way if they blow one, they come off nicely, and they don't blow the whole side of the hoof wall out. But then you would hot, hot shoe the fronts, that way because they're always like this, you know, trying to get in front of a cow and they'd stand a little better, they'd sear, and you'd have a perfect fit. But these two, it scares me, because they're hot shot on the backs, so it's a nice fit, not saying anything bad. The only thing I don't like is they filled every damn hole. So if he was to take a turn real sharp, that's how you, you can deglove a hoof. You can deglove a hoof, you can blow a whole sidewall out. I've seen him deglove a whole hoof by that, and that ain't good. So here on the front, you know, you ain't got no smoke marks, no burn marks in through here. Anybody that's experienced with farrier work would understand or watch their farrier do it. But you would have, you know, the cottering sear marks from stamping a hot shoe on. But then we go back here, and you're going to see... That's all burnt and smoky. The frog is even stained from the smoke through. I mean, oh yeah. That's right away. Oh yeah, I see. Yeah, you can see it now. Two different style shoes and sizes on the backs. For the same horse? Yep. Whoever shot or had a shoe either pounded in too much or one size too small because it's right on the line of it being a hot nail. So if she gets stiff or sore in the next day, that or text me. So you got basically this whole quarter of the wall and the heel is gone. And that is the biggest, one of the most important parts of a hoof. That's where you're landing. You're landing and you're coming down. So yeah, she's going to be really off now without a shoe. But there's nothing we can do. Because even to put a shoe back on that, we'd have to hoof cast that. Oh yeah, it hurt. This is where I get, I get frustrated sometimes. Where, well my Amish farrier can do it for 20 bucks. Okay, that's great. But then you run into this. You want to save 30 bucks and then put your horse down? Was it worth it? I mean, 
so we can't fix it? Oh, we can fix it. We're just going to have to hoof cast it. Should she be on stall rest so we can do that? Absolutely. <laughs> deep, deep bedding. And to be honest, I don't even want to trim it because I want to leave her with as much support as possible. Another, another thing I get frustrated about with standard breads, when you get, yes, I understand it's it's the most popular horse besides a draft horse in the Amish or Mennonite community, but it doesn't take a rocket scientist to put a two degree wedge on something like that. You wonder why your horse is crippled at 10. You buy an extra 20, $25 worth of pads to go all around, you make your horse last another 10 years. That's a pretty cheap investment. It's just like teenagers that don't change their oil in their car and then they wonder why it blows up. Stupidity. People suck at the end of the day. They can breed them and train them faster than they can buy them. So you get, you got that stretching there. You get her up on a shoe and I mean look at the stress in the hoof. You can, you can see this. You're looking at, that's, you know, that's stress from nutrition change of feed, environment, I mean, you're looking at all factors of stress and just the foot being stretched. Now, you get a two-degree wedge on there, go slow, you get her to stand, easy, honey, you're going to get her to stand almost that much more. That's not doing justice because she won't hold still, but if you get her from like this and you raise her up just a little bit, that two degrees aligns, for every two degrees in the heel, Every degree in the heel is another 10 in the front. <coughs> so if you got a horse this low, and you get it up that much, you get, well, look at Garnett. Yep. What, what a two degree wedge did like that. Mm -hmm. And that's about how bad he was. The ring bone is not helping. I would say stall rest is a must with them soles and that big quarter chip on their heel. Maybe a chiropractor won't hurt. Oh, I forgot to bring the butte on. This one is the butte? I'm not touching you. Don't come up. Do you don't like that? Something in front of her hips. How's your pole? You're okay, hang it. Ooh. Your head shy. That doesn't surprise me coming oh, from the Amish. What the fuck did I do with that last shoe? What's in my hand? Oh, fucking dumb. Oh, boy. Yep. Shoe's crooked. Pet peeve. Same thing here. We've got heel. Same thing as uh, Gretel. Pretty much. Look at this heel. Coming off. Deteriorating. Coming right off. That's what happens when you run these horses too hard on concrete all day. I understand that's their job, but look at the bruising. Everyone needs a break from the job every once in a while. Even a farrier. I'm going to leave this frog higher to compensate for that. We ain't going to do... Boy, we're going to have a lot of work to do on these standard breads. Holy shit. I said we're just, we're just going to pull the shoes, leave them a little on the long side. Who? Um, leave some depth on them so they got some traction. Plus, we're going to have a lot of... So far, two out of the three standees, we're going to have to do some hoof casting. Repairs on the heels. Um, which is never a good sign, but... It's the only way to keep the horse happy. Well... Well, just constant concussion on the road. Oh, no. But not your backyard <laughs> horse breeding and farriers. Oh. Oh yeah. That's some right there. 
the, the reason why we're seeing so much bruising on the inside of these heels, especially here, one, yes, you're on, you're on road a lot, you're on constant pavement, the concuss to the horse moving, but if your shoe is brought back more and tapered the right way evenly on the heel, you would have less bruising, especially of that pigment. I mean, that's pretty blood much red. blood red. Stall rest for you too? Yep. Okay. okay, so here's what I was getting at earlier. When I say they're towed in, so these aren't matched up in the heel at all. This is on the outside how it should be. This, it's brought in. I see. You, you can see kind of what I'm getting. And you can see the wear. Right oh yeah, from that's here from the that's road. flat. That's flat. Oh, my God. oh yeah, look at this separation on the. So this one's gonna need hoof casting on two, two of four feet. How much does hoof casting? You're probably looking at an extra of ballpark 50 a horse. Um, roughly. I'm else that'll piss you off, Cindy. So you can see you still got Borium on the heel. And that's a very, very strong product. You know, anybody that puts Borium on their horses knows why. Rocky trails, a lot of road riding. Keeps the life of the shoe long. But anybody that knows anything about shoes... Look at how paper thin these nail heads are. Mm -hmm. And then you look at right here, your nail line is barely visible anymore, the crease. Compare that to that. You've got no borium anymore on that toe and how flat that is. I mean, that's, that's straighter than a board you buy at Menards. And what caused that? Resetting too many times. With the same shoe? Yeah. Yes. Lazy. It's simply being lazy and cheap trying to cut corners and when you cut co corners with horses this is what happens it costs you more money you can only cut so many corners before you got a circle three guesses as to what happened again last night so over this we had a woman contact us. She's looking to surrender her one and a half year old gelding. From the sounds of it, he needs quite a bit of training and she just doesn't have the time to do that. Um, she tried to find him a new home for a few months and just wasn't finding the right fit. So we are gonna go pick him up today and bring him back to our shelter. So while we're going to pick up the surrender, we got quite lucky because the fecal samples that we've collected for the horses to check for worms, um, the place we go to drop it off is right there. Got the poop, <laughs> and we're got at the, the poop. got the scoop on the poop. We're at the vet lab, and we're gonna drop it off. Poop free. arrived back to the shelter after picking up Riot. He's a bit of a spicy boy. Come on, buddy. He's like, this is not where I was when I got on the track. Yeah, he's like, uh. Here you go. You're all right, buddy. There's other horsey friends here. Here, watch. You wanna watch me walk? Come on. There you go.
just arrived at our shelter. He came all the way from Seymour, which is about a three hour drive from here. So we've got at least half a dozen horses yet to get evals done for the free adoption event coming up. And we can finally get Strudel and Minnie in for their x-rays. Uh, we just got the fecal count results back and you're probably gonna wanna take a look at this.